Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dom, and today we are taking a look at messages on the iPad and iOS 7. It's got a bit of a different layout than the standard messages app for iPhone and iOS 7. There are a few notable changes, and some of them do apply to iPhone as well, so I thought I'd just make one video and demonstrate it on the iPad. Now, the first thing here you see we have little avatars here and on this group message here you see that we have two avatars and we also do have them inside of the message here so you can tell which message is coming from what person uh, without having to look at any additional information on the iPad and let me just go ahead and send a message here and then we'll go and send one back and you can see that you'll be able to easily tell where the message is coming from, you know, which contact it's coming from anyways, depending on what picture you have set in their specific contact on your device. So it's pretty helpful in my opinion. I think it works out very well. Now, another amazing feature here is the ability to have timestamps for every message. That's right, if you swipe over from the side there, as you see me doing, you'll be able to pull out the timestamps here and see a timestamp for every message. And I really do like having it on the side right here because it's not in the way above or next to every single message. It's hidden away, but when you want it, it's there and you can just pull it over. So I really do like how they implemented the timestamps and it was almost worth the wait. Now sending a new message is exactly the same. You'll have the little message box there, but I'm really in love with these timestamps. I can't say that enough. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview. Now the timestamps are also on iPhone as well, and they apply to group or single conversations, so you'll always be able to track down when that message was sent to you. But like I said, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of messages in iOS 7, some of the changes that happened for iPhone and iPad, and this gives you a nice idea of the iPad layout for the Messages app. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.